Hello guys, I hope you all are doing well. As you know, we have started a new series where we will create very interesting graphics using Canvas. If you haven't watched the first video yet, please check it out. Today, you will learn how to create your first Canvas. First, we will understand the basics of Canvas in a few videos, and then we will move on to creating advanced graphics. Before we start, this is my Patreon. Uh, if you want to support me or access the source code of all my YouTube videos and playlists, uh, you can visit my Patreon. There, you can get a membership at a very affordable price and enjoy access to the source code along with many other benefits. I also have a Patreon shop where you can find pre-made Discord bots that you can check out. If you're enjoying this series and want more videos, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Let's start. Uh, so we are now in our lovely Visual Studio code, and I already showed how to set up everything in the last video, and we have set up the bot. Now to create our first canvas, we will open the SRC folder, then open the commands folder, and here we will create a new folder named canvas. And now I will create a file here named testcanvas.js, and first of all, I will write the command structure. Here we go now. Here we will write our canvas code. So before starting, we need to define a few things. So for that, we write const create canvas and load image. This way we define these things from canvas. Very nice. And yes, we already installed canvas in the last video. If you haven't installed it yet, then install it by running npm, install canvas in the terminal. And now first we need to create a canvas by giving it a width and height. In simple words, we need to create a box on which we will draw things. For example, if you do painting, you need paper. Similarly, we first need a canvas on which we can work. So to create a box, first we define a variable named canvas, const canvas, and then we use the create canvas function we defined. And here we can give two parameters, one for width and one for height. So first we give the width of the canvas and then add a comma and give the height. And this is in pixels. So it means our canvas is created with a width of 500 pixels and a height of 250 pixels. You can make it as big as you need. And after that, we need to design in two days. Because this is for a Discord bot for that, uh, we define another variable and name it CTX. You can name it something else. But CTX is mostly used, and CTX stands for context, uh, which we use to draw everything on the canvas. Uh, then we do canvas dot get context, two days. This canvas is the one we defined. OK, now our setup is done. Now we need to draw on our canvas, which we will do using TX. But yes, if we only do this and check our canvas, wait, let me show you. So for that, we need to send the canvas. I will also show you how to do that. So first we define attachment builder, then const attachment equal to new attachment builder in our canvas variable canvas dot to buffer and give it a name. And then simply using await interaction dot reply and using files, we send the attachment. Now. If I go to Discord and show you, you can see it has sent the canvas, but it is completely blank. There is nothing on it. It is just a two days canvas with a width of 500 and height of 250 pixels. So now to make this look better, we need to fill it with color. And for that, we will use ctx.fillstyle equal to, and here you can give a color code. I will give this color code, but here you need to understand one thing setting cc 8 fill style only sets the color. Um, but we haven't drawn any shape yet, uh, so it will still look the same on Discord. So now we will draw a rectangle shape for that. We will write atkx.fill rect, and inside the brackets, we need to give four parameters. First is the x position, which means the starting position from the left, and then the y position, which means the starting position from the top. So since we want to fill the entire shape, we will set both to zero and zero. But when we create shapes inside other shapes, we will need to manage this after that. The uh, third and fourth parameters are the width and height of the shape, which you can give in pixels. But since we want to cover the entire canvas, we will simply set it to canvas.width and canvas.height. So this means it will be set according to the canvas size, which is 500 width and 250 height. Now, if we check on Discord, you can see it now shows the canvas with the color. So now we will learn how to write 
text on the canvas. For this, you need to do three things. First, we will write ctx.font equal to, and here we need to give the font size, which I will set to 30px. Um, second, you need to give the font name that you want. I will simply set it to Arial next. We need to set the text color. So again, we will use fill style for that. So ctx dot fill style and the color code. And finally, we need to write the text and set its position for that. We will use fill text. So cttx dot fill text. And here we will write our text, then a comma. And here we need to give the position where we want the text on the canvas. So first we will give the X position, horizontal 100, and then the Y position, vertical 125. And by doing this now, the text is also visible on our canvas. Um, so that's it for today's video. And I am giving you a small task. You need to create a rectangle yourself with a width of 200 and a height of 500. And its color should be yellow and then write text on it and center that text on the canvas. And after doing this, join my server from the description and come to the images channel and post it there. I will definitely check it out. So if you liked the video, make sure to like and share. Bye.